Hey guys, in this video we'll be seeing how to debug a .NET web application in VS Code. We'll be going through the steps in this tutorial that I'll link to in the video description. The tools required to debug .NET web apps in VS Code are listed here. You'll need the .NET SDK, which includes the .NET framework as well as the CLI. You'll need Visual Studio Code itself, the editor, as well as the C Sharp extension for VS Code, which adds support for C Sharp to the VS Code editor. Once you've got those installed, we'll create a new web app for us to debug using the .NET new command and passing it the web template parameter. And we'll set the name of the web app to my web app. So I'll copy that command there and open a command line window and paste that there and hit enter to execute. Once that's done, I'll cd into the my web app directory. And then to open the project in VS Code, enter code and then the pass the current directory. Before opening it in code, um, I I'll just jump over to the next step because there will be a pop-up that, that appears when we first open code that uh, we refer to here. So the next step is to generate the tasks.json and launch.json files which contain the build and debug configuration for actually launching, building the, the project and launching it in debug mode. Now when we first launch, or when we first open the project in VS Code, it's go we're going to see a pop-up alert from the C-sharp extension to say that we don't have those assets yet the task.json and launch.json, so it will offer to um, generate them for us. So first I'll generate them using that option. And then secondly, I'll show you how to generate them without using that option. So we'll go through that now. So jumping back to the command line, hitting enter on that command to open the project in VS Code. This is the starter website project. It just contains mineral, minimal configuration and a single endpoint that returns hello world. There is the alert that's popped up from the C Sharp extension to say that the required assets to build and debug are missing from the project. So I'll click yes to generate them. Then up here you can see that we've got a VS Code folder that's been generated containing our launch and tasks.json files. Now if I check those out, the main part that we're interested in is that the task file contains a build task which uh, runs the .NET build command which builds our project and in the launch.json file we have configuration here, the first one that actually launches the web app and before launching it runs the build task and when it launches it launches uh, the DLL of the built web app. So that's how you generate these files from the pop-up that appears in VS Code. I'll now show you the other way to generate them from the run and debug menu. So I'll delete that VS Code folder and then go into the run and debug menu over here and simply select create launch.json file, I'll select the .NET Core environment and that's it. We have our launch.json file there, the same as before. If I go to the file menu, it also generated the same task.json file. Okay, with those files both generated, we're now ready to debug our application. So jumping back over to VS Code, go to the startup file We'll add a breakpoint to the return statement of the hello world endpoint. Then select the run menu option and either select start debugging or you can hit the F5 key. That's launched a new browser window at localhost port 5001. You can see that it's staying in the loading state and that Visual Studio Code down here is flashing because it has paused on the breakpoint that we set. And if you hover over the response object, you can inspect the properties of that response object that the status is 200, for example. And you also have your standard debugging options to continue step over 
I'll stop debugging. I'll just hit continue there. Jumping back to the browser, you can see that the string hello world's been returned. And then jumping back over here, I can hit the red square to stop debugging. Okay, that is everything. So that's uh, all you need to do for uh, to set up debugging for a .NET web application in VS Code. I hope you enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching. Cheers.